Good morning, everybody. This is Pastor Rick, Broadman Baptist Church, and this is the Broadman Word <clears throat> for June 30th, 2023. Today's uh, title is called Be Nothing, and it's out of Philippians, and it's referencing to um, Jesus Christ. So let's go ahead and read um, chapter 1, uh, 6 through 8, I believe it is. Uh, who, in being in very nature God, did not consider equality with God something to be used to his own advantage. Rather, he made himself nothing by taking the very nature of a servant, being made in human likeness. And being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to death, even death on a cross. So, uh, I want to talk to you today. Uh, in this world that we live in where so many things are promulgated and being loud and visible seems to be some sort of measure of success and to uh, have the most followers, the most likes, the most clicks, everything is relative to more, more, more and it's hyper-individualized where we, we hold up those who are able to achieve these things and um, look down on those who uh, don't, you know, our, our value in this society seems to be um, directly related to how much noise we can make. Um, and if there's conflict or some sort of strife and division involved with it, well, all the better. And so I wanted to, again, draw a contrast between uh, the Christian life, in this case, the primary example from Jesus Christ, and how it is that we should view going about this world. Uh, it is clear in Philippians, um, the church at Philippi being the ones being written to, that Jesus did not consider his deity, his relationship with God, um, as, you know, king, uh, to be something of an advantage to him, he chose to come here and be first human and second to be a servant, to be the um, servant leader, I guess, and to not be one held up or uh, promulgated because of some sort of status or position in life or family connection. He made himself nothing um, and became a servant to all of mankind. So I wonder if it wouldn't do us some good to live with that servant's heart, that servant's attitude, to consider ourselves really in the grand scheme of the kingdom to be nothing, not meaning that you're not worth anything. That's clearly not true. Uh, but that you don't really have anything of your own to be uh, promulgated or um, raised up. It is your life in Jesus Christ that's to be heralded. And so then, like Jesus Christ, um, in worldly terms, you don't make yourself to be anything. You serve. Um, we already are human, so we don't have to worry about that. Jesus had to um, do that whole fully God, fully human thing. We don't. So we then already have the ability to step back uh, and to separate ourselves from the actions and the theories and the thought processes that drive people to their desired visibility. They want to be influencers. That's the big one. Social media influencers. How often have you heard that? There's sports influencers. There's clothing influencers. There's all these influencers. And it's all about the individual's ability to bring about um, some sort of action. And it's usually commercial, um, economic. And so uh, we can separate from those things. We don't have to play that game. We don't have to be in that circus. We can be humble. We can make ourselves nothing 
uh, in in the world, but yet have a profound impact. If you think about the uh, good and that the impact that Jesus Christ had on humanity, uh, it's enormous. It's, you know, in some respects, untellable. Um, we won't truly know until the, uh, the day of the Lord comes. So in looking at that then, would you not rather have that sort of massive impact on the world, even if it's quiet, even if it doesn't come with likes and clicks and influencer status, if it's just simply you doing what God wants you to do, following your walk, being on your mission, 24-7 um, mission for God, uh, being the disciple that he wants you to be, being the uh, herald of the gospel that he wants you to be, the ambassador of the gospel, being one of his preachers, and that doesn't mean you have to preach a sermon, but being one of his preachers with your life, you know, your life preaching the gospel, and, you know, so many other things. I don't have to keep going. You know what I'm talking about. Would that not be the better existence? Would that not be a more true calling would that not be more beneficial to humanity to approach your approach this world as you being nothing, uh, as the example of Christ was who made himself nothing in the eyes of the world anyway, but to then at the same time uh, be this massive influencer in the spiritual realm? How cool would that be? So listen, my... Uh, advice to you, my call to you, is to back up off of the things that the world um, considers to be great or that would make someone uh, have some sort of status. And instead, um, focus on being nothing and uh, just see how much more peaceful, uh, how many more blessings you receive how much more influence you actually have from a position of nothing instead of a position defined by the world as great. Listen, I love you. I hope you have a marvelous day in the Lord. And I'll talk to you next time.